Some would say I own too many little black dresses, but what's too many of the perfect thing? Anytime I think of a little black dress, I think of Audrey Hepburn. Something that you wear when you're feeling confident. Let's say at the last minute you get called to like dinner or an event. Okay, I'm gonna wear this little black dress. You mean like a little black ball gown? I think a little black dress isn't really a description of an item as much as it's a state of mind. <laughs> as long as you feel sexy in it. I'll definitely be wearing this dress to my friend's cocktail dinner. I plan on snapping a lot of Instagram pictures with it. I'm feeling like a little surprised in this dress, to be honest, because I was very nervous. You know, I've got some curves going on, and I was nervous that it was not going to look right, but I kind of feel like a million bucks. Bodycon is something that I'd usually go for, so I'm just absolutely loving this. It's not something that I would pick up. As a bigger girl, I wouldn't have put this on today, but now that I have, why not? <laughs> I feel like I've definitely heard that black is a slimming color. I don't know if I heard that on Sex and the City the first time. I completely agree that it is a slimming color. I feel like I feel more sleek and chic in my body. I live by black is slimming. Most of my wardrobe is black. Oh, I've heard that black is slimming for my entire life. I have definitely been told that black is forgiving, whatever that's supposed to mean. I think that's just all in the mind. You look just as big and black as you're doing anything else. I do think it makes me look slimmer, but I also love like hot pink and purple, so. <laughs> I'm kind of slim. I don't want to look slimmer than I am. I would love to look more curvy. I wish there was a color out there like, yep, that makes you look curvier. I don't care as much about it being slimming, more about it making me look taller. And I think it kind of gives that illusion. I have heard that black has been slimming, but that's kind of also why I tend not to wear too much black, because I don't want to feel like I'm ever trying to cover up anything or ashamed of any part of my body. I know there's a lot of talk about the word flattering or slimming, because it makes you seem like skinny or slim is better than whatever the alternative is. I tend to not worry about that and just buy whatever makes me feel amazing. What's this called? Because I had never heard that before. Tell me. Cold shoulder. Ooh, brr. I like that. Maybe like a, is it a cold shoulder dress? I have always heard it called cold shoulders. My peekaboo shoulders. <laughs> kind of gives like a mysterious look. You know, like where's the cleavage? It's underneath. I like that it can still be sexy without showing cleavage, but the shoulders are out, so it gives a little spice. <laughs> Normally I'm worried about like this showing. There's like a little bit of like, I don't even know what it's called. It's like fat in your armpit. <laughs> I really like the open sleeves. My eczema is showing, but I'm doing my thing, doing its thing. I'd call them flappers, but I know that's not the actual technical term. I don't really know what to do with them. If you have like um, arm jiggles, it's like the perfect cover up for arm jiggles. I don't have a problem with arms or anything. I'm actually all about sleeves. Statement sleeves are so in fashion and style and it's great that I have them for my size. When I think little black dress, I think above the knees. I just think it's too long. I have nice legs. I like to show them off a little every now and then. A lot of times when you buy things in larger sizes, they assume you're much taller. So I'm 5'3", so length can sometimes be an issue. I didn't realize because of my height that it would be so long. When I first went to put it on, I was a little terrified because I thought for sure it was gonna be too tight. The fact that this is really hugging every single curve on my body is something I'm not used to at all. I would not wear this dress if I had just eaten a huge meal. I don't normally wear bodycon tight fitting dresses, but I don't like to put myself in a box, so I'm always down to try anything. I'm Dominican, so I like for my curves to be shown off. Here I am, hi. The way I feel in tight dresses is the way I feel in looser dresses. It doesn't really bother me. If you think you're gonna look thinner in baggy clothing, that's just not true. <laughs> And I learned that the hard way. I think that because of the way this dress is cut, you can't really wear a bra unless you're wearing it strapless. Strapless bras, no matter how tight they're supposed to be, I just don't feel totally 100% comfortable. I like my breasts up. I can't wear a bra with it. I think it's like a security blanket sometimes. You wanna have your security blanket with you. So I'm wearing Spanx that are like from the waist down to the knee. I feel like that's my mom's influence. <laughs> like in Dominican culture, in English it's called Spanx. In Spanish it's a faja. Even if you're a thin woman, you probably wear a faja. It just like brings the look together. Right now I have my faja and it's attached to a bra. All in peace, great. I feel like a plus size Audrey Hepburn, I'm not gonna lie. This dress is cute, go buy it. You know what, I will wear this again. I'm very surprised that I'm saying that, but I would wear this again. I feel very confident in this dress. I feel like very put together in this dress and it feels really good. If you're against form fitting, 
put it on, wear it out. Once you start getting compliments, you'll realize this little black dress is a go.